Ever dream of becoming a great artist? Well, Tampa Museum of Art wants to help you put your best paintbrush forward. Anthony Record is here with details on their many upcoming classes to help bring the artist out in you. Good morning. Happy Good morning. New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. I'm thinking maybe this was someone's New Year's resolution. I feel I come from a family of artists and I'm always going, you know what? I can't wait to get back to it. I feel like sometimes time just gets away from you, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, and I, th I think people just like just kind of playing around yeah. with materials. You know, you don't need to be a serious artist to kind of do artistic Can things. Can you say you know? that again? Because I think people are intimidated. They think, <laughs> wait a minute, I'm not a professional artist. This isn't something I can do. Sure. Yeah. No, I mean, all of our classes for the most part are for a really wide range of skill okay. levels and experience levels. Um, you really shouldn't feel intimidated, especially for the one night ones. You know, okay. those are just kind of drop in have a good time, maybe learn something new. So is that an example, I guess, of the I Make Mondays? Would that be a one night, one session? How does that work? Yeah, so there's this new series that we just started last term called I Make Mondays, um, sort of a plan. I hate Mondays, <laughs> ad wizard that I am. Um, but uh, yeah, I Make Mondays, so it's a Monday night thing um, after work, six to nine, where um, you kind of drop in and make a project based on something currently on view at the museum. So an example would be right now what? So just last night we had our um, Kusama lamps. Okay. So hopefully a lot of you guys were able to see the um, Yayo Kusama exhibition, yeah. currently the, the immersive installation with all these li uh, lit up soft sculptures. Polka so, dots everywhere, bright colors everywhere. Exactly, yeah. So last night um, a bunch of us were making little soft lights that you can plug in. So we sculpted them and kind of sewed the fabric and stretched it over and painted them. So they had their own their own little. And they actually had something they could take home at exactly, the end of the day. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And they were all very different, uh, especially for the I Make Mondays things. They're these very specific projects, yeah. but there's tons of room to kind of go nuts and do. There was a your cigar one too, wasn't there? Cigar box infinity mirrors. Oh uh, yeah, so that's coming up in I think two weeks. Um, yeah, basically uh, we had these beautiful donated cigar boxes and uh, you're basically creating your own little infinity lamp cool. or infinity room. So you're covering it with mirrors yeah. and filling it with fairy lights. And you do have this little kind of portable infinity thing. Okay. Well, I know we have some pictures of some of the art maybe to kind of get people on the right track of what you're sure. creating here. But what I love is there's actually classes at the museum and then throughout all over the county as well. Explain how this works. Yeah. So thanks to a generous, you know, um, a grant from Hillsborough County, most of our classes actually take off, uh, take place outside of the museum. Okay. At various county locations. So um, at the JCC, and at um, the Firehouse Cultural Center mm -hmm. in Ruskin, places in Brandon, the Sassa. There's four or five locations kind of all over. Um, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. so we can kind of spread out far from, from the downtown area. So we mentioned like the I Make Mondays um, uh, sessions where it's one class and then there are longer form kind of sessions as well, right? Explain what those are and. Yeah, so we have longer classes as well at these offsite locations, things like figure drawing. Okay. Um, What's what the else? typical class? How many weeks or, or so months? Usually they're about three um, or three to seven sessions. Okay. So it'll be like seven Saturdays or, you know, four Wednesdays, something like that. Okay. And then uh, kind of an off the wall question. What's age group? I'm kind of curious. I, I'd imagine that you would see a wide wide range. Yeah, that's a very good question. There is a really wide range, which is great. Um, you know, from 14 up to, you know, retirees. Yeah. Um, we also have um, specific studio programs for teenagers, yeah. for middle schoolers and high schoolers at the museum. Um, it's one of my favorite programs. So it's every Monday. Okay. Um, it's something that, um, again, a, a, from a generous grant from the Community Foundation of Tampa Bay and the Lighting Foundation, yeah. we're able to provide for teens a free workspace okay. for an hour. And then local artists visit um, well, for check out the website well. again. There's so much to do and take in here There's in 2019. Do, yeah. yeah, and to fulfill your inner artist uh, dreams there. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me.